All right, now we'll talk about how to differentiate base b exponents. And it turns out this is really pretty easy. Knowing how to differentiate e to the x, the natural base exponential function, allows us to deal with exponents of any base. Just think about this equation for a second. y equals b to the x, and b there can be any number. We want to be able to differentiate that. In other words, what is y primed, or what is dy dx? Well, we just have to remember a little rule of logarithms and recognize that a base b exponent can always be rewritten as a base e exponent. And in this case, we can say that b to the x is equal to e to the natural log of b to the x. Now, that's true because a base e exponent and a base e logarithm always cancel each other out. So b to the x has to be equal to this. But writing it like this, note this little natural log of b to the x, this allows me to use a property of logarithms that says the exponent up here can come out in front. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to write it as e to the power of x ln of b. So b to the x can be written as e to the x ln b. And that's true for any number b. And this function is then something we know how to differentiate. So let's do it. I can say the derivative with respect to x of b to the x has to be equal to the derivative with respect to, that, with respect to x of e to the power of x times the natural log of b. Because e to the x ln b is the same thing as b to the x. And this I can differentiate. I just have to use the chain rule. The derivative of e to that power has to be e to that power times the derivative of that, the derivative of x ln b. That's by the chain rule. x ln b is my inner function in the chain rule, so I just have to multiply by the derivative of that. And natural log of b is just a constant, so this is just a constant times x, and the derivative of that is just that constant, which is the natural log of b. And then to simplify this, I just recognize that this right here, e to the x ln b, that's right there. That is my b to the x. So that is b to the x. So I'll write this as b to the x times the natural log of b. So there you have it. The derivative with respect to x of b to the x is b to the x times the natural log of b. And we'll do a few examples that demonstrate this derivative. Okay, here are four examples, and we're, we're trying to differentiate all of these, and all of these are base b exponents. So let's do it, and we're going to use the idea that the derivative, here's our, our little formula over here, the derivative with respect to x of b to the x is b to the x times the natural log of b. That's the concept we're applying. So the derivative of 10 to the x is just going to be 10 to, 10 to the x times the natural log of 10. And that's it. Really easy. The derivative of 2.3 to the x will be 2.3 to the x times the natural log of 2.3. Pretty simple. This next one, the derivative of 5 to the power of x squared will require the chain rule because we have a function right there. So this will be 5 to the power of x squared times the natural log of 5 times the derivative of my inner function right there. And the derivative of that will be 2x. That's it. 5 to the power of x squared times the natural log of 5 times 2x. And these three factors, you could rearrange them if you need to, but that's fine right there like it is. And then this one also requires the chain rule. It's a simple function right up here, but we still need to apply the chain rule. The derivative of 2 to the negative x will be 2 to the negative x times the natural log of 2 times the derivative of this. And the derivative of that is simply negative 1. So I will re rewrite that as negative 2 to the negative x times the natural log of 2. And now let's come back to our reference sheet that we've been filling in as we go, and let's fill this in down here. The derivative of a base b exponent, b to the x, is b to the x 
times the natural log of b.